If you are not aware of this free Windows utility tool, you are missing out. The Chris Titus Tech Windows utility tool is quite useful. What it does? Well, a little bit of everything. This utility is a compilation of the best Windows tasks on one program. If you want to debloat, troubleshoot, configure, fix Windows utilities, and more, this is the right program for you. You don't even have to install it on your computer. The program lives on the web. You just run a PowerShell script and it will load onto your computer. Now, the reason I recommend it is that it simplifies things that you are already doing, all from one interface. It has helped me in my IT support job and I am sure it will help you. You can also install the program on your computer, but you have to pay like 10 bucks on Chris Titus website, which realistically is fairly inexpensive. Although running the script is quite easy as well. Okay, now on our computer, we're gonna go to our web browser. We're gonna go to Google. We're gonna type Chris Titus tool. ChrisTitus.com is the website. And we can see here, this is Chris Titus. This is his uh, utility that he made. You can go to downloads on his website. And if you wanna buy the uh, utility, the toolbox, you can buy it for 10 bucks and install it on your computer. Now, if we go to the GitHub, we're gonna see the uh, utility. We're gonna see what it does. This is the layout. And if we go down, we're gonna be able to see the script. Because remember, unless you grab that executable and install it on your computer for 10 bucks, you're gonna to have to run this script on PowerShell. And it won't live on your computer, it lives on the web. So you just, it just comes down and use it when you close it out, you're gonna to have to rerun that script. So we're gonna grab this uh, stable branch. We're gonna type PowerShell, run as administrator. We click yes. Now we're gonna paste our command. Okay, and we have the user interface right here. And if we click here, we're gonna be able to see all the applications that it has. It has a lot of tools, a lot of nice stuff. We can install, upgrade selected, upgrade all. All the ones uh, installed, you can upgrade, uninstall the selected ones. So if you select multiple ones, you can click here. Uh, we're gonna select a few uh, applications that we wanna install. I'm gonna do Brave, Firefox. I'm gonna do Notepad++. VLC video player, advanced IP scanner, that's it. Now when we wanna install these uh, applications that we selected that are highlighted, we click on install upgrade selected. Okay, and now we have uh, Advanced IP Scanner opening up. And we can see here how it started uh, installing everything right away. Okay, and once uh, everything finalizes, it's going to tell you installs have finished. It's going to give you a prompt that uh, whatever you're doing, it has completed the installation. And that's how it basically simplifies installing many applications instead of going to individual websites and downloading stuff and having to install everything one at a time. You can just go here and install 20, 30 applications uh, in, one, in one go. And like you can see here at Winget, it's uh, selected and not chocolatey, which is what uh, it's using to manage all those packages and applications. And if you see here, you can see uh, clear the selected it's gonna just clear your selection. Okay, and if we click uh, get installed, we're gonna see what we have uh, installed on our system. And you can see them right here. Clear selected, and we're going back. If you click here, it'll just, uh, you'll be able to open whatever you wanna see. And this is like the uh, breakdown of everything. And this, for, this is it for the install section. Play with it and install whatever you want.
just be cautious. Just make sure you know what you're uh, downloading. We go to tweaks. We can see this section right here. We have a standard minimal. We have a clear to clear out the selection. If we click on standard, it'll give us uh, all the basic uh, tweaks we can do to our system. And this is gonna help us optimize. It's gonna help us uh, speed our computer, erase all the files and stuff like that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear this selection and I'm gonna go and do a create restore point. And a restore point is really good. It's like a snapshot in time of your computer. Uh, you create a restore point because you're gonna do a lot of uh, tweaks. And if you do something wrong or the system just decides to break, you can go to the snapshot back in time and it'll go back before we did all of this stuff. And I'm gonna do delete uh, them files, delete uh, disable consumer features, telemetry, activity history. And if you go here, it'll show you like a, a description of uh, the specific section. Disable hibernation, home group, location, storage, Wi-Fi sense, enable. You can run this cleanup. I already cleaned the system previously. Chain windows, uh, disable PowerShell 7 telemetry, disable recall. Hibernation services, set services to manual. This one is uh, pretty good if you don't want a lot of uh, processes running. And you can see here on uh, performance, you can see 107, 167 processes. That is gonna go down setting up uh, services to manual. I'm gonna deep load edge and be cautious of the advanced tweaks because your computer might work differently after it. So if you don't know how, any of this stuff, just uh, I would probably avoid it. Um, I'm gonna do this one. Double deep load. Disable Toretto. Disable full screen optimization. I'm gonna disable Copilot. Um, set classic right menu. Remove all Microsoft Store, Microsoft Store apps. Uh, I'm gonna remove Edge. Remove OneDrive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these tweaks by clicking on Run Tweaks. You'll see here, it's starting uh, the tweaking process. Okay, and again, we have uh, the tweaks are finished. It's telling us that it finished doing all those tweaks. And this basically is going to help us have a faster computer. And it's it's not going to run as many processes that sometimes we don't need. And it's going to allow us to use exactly what we want. But a lot of people like those services. If you like them, you can keep them. It's up to you. If you click here on Run O Shut Up 10, Okay, so we have this screen. You can um, select, disable, and enable different privacy settings. If you like uh, more privacy, you can go to action, actions, and it's going to give you uh, different things that you can do. The recommended, only the recommended. Apply all the settings, which it would apply every single thing in here. And some of this stuff, it might help your computer move a little faster. And it will stop your computer from tracking certain things that you do. So you can select, enable, and disable whatever you want. And let's do something. I'm gonna go to actions and I'm gonna apply all settings. Uh, this step is strong. Uh, system. Uh, okay, it's gonna create a system restore. It's successfully set. Okay, perfect. So now we can exit out of here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do that later. And if we go to the right side here, we can enable different things. For example, dark mode. I want to keep it like this because we've been using it like this. But you can see we can enable this. Uh, we, I don't like uh, Bing searches. Um, Burfuls messages, recommendations, a start menu. I don't like that. Snap window. Snap assist flyout. Mouse acceleration, I want to disable. Show hidden files. Show file extensions. And I want to enable those. 
and here you can do different uh ultimate performance profile which is like um your power setting and i just clicked on it ultimate performance plan installed and set as active okay and now if we go to configuration we have different features that we can select hyper-v virtualization which is something uh you can run virtual machines with uh the windows hyper-v you need the pro version to be able to use our virtualization legacy media you can select uh, legacy media, NFS, network file system, enable search box, web suggestions and registry, enable legacy FA boot recovery, and whatever you want to do here. If you're a more advanced user, uh, you can check it out and you can install these features. And, and this fixes, you can reset Windows Update. When you're having issues with Windows Update, it will reset the system uh, for the update. Uh, you can reset your network uh, adapter, uh, find corruption scans, wing it, reinstall, remove Adobe Creative Cloud. And on the legacy Windows panel, this section is pretty useful because uh, a lot of us like opening up the older uh, panels and windows and the new ones sometimes are not as, as good or as detailed as it used to be. For example, this printer panel, where you see the adapter here, it's kind of far. It's, it's kind of hard to find it on the new uh, Windows 11. So having it here in um, Chris Titus tool, it's um, it's pretty nice. You have the power panel, which also again they make it difficult to find. And now we can just go straight to it. You have the control panel, just a click away. Network connection. You can see your different adapters. You can check properties, check your uh, Wi-Fi password and other things. You have your region. You you have a, a, a lot of nice things here. We have a PowerShell profile for the Chris Titles tool. Remote access, enable open SSH server. And you might have to look more and you might have to look more into this one. Updates. And we have uh, the update section. Here you can have different settings enabled for your updates. You can have the default settings, which, which allows you to update regularly. Your security settings here, uh, which is a balanced security configuration. You have uh, updates delayed by two years, but I think it's one. Security updates installed after four days. Because we care mostly about security updates, that's uh, that could present a, a possible threat to our system if we don't install it right away. But these uh, functional upgrades, the uh, core upgrades that uh, Windows has, sometimes you don't have to install it. And sometimes if you install it right away, it might present some problems uh, to your system. And this one, it disables all updates if you don't like updates. And MicroWin, you can create uh, customized uh, Windows ISOs to be able to remove telemetry, to install right away with a local account and, and more, uh, more of an expedited process. It removes the internet requirements. It debloats Windows. You can create some nice, and it even has an option for uh, Proxmox. But uh, it, it, it's a nice feature to be able to make an image for uh, the bloated image for Windows 11. And if you want to check it out, definitely check it out. And I'm, I might do a video in the future on how to create a, a clean image so that we can install. Okay, and something I want to do is I want to do a I want to do a full system reset just so you guys see what uh how the computer looks now that we uh, installed everything else. Uh, our programs, uh, the telemetry uh, disabling functions. And it'll give you a, an idea on how to check if that was implemented. Some of the stuff we did. Not everything. Because a lot, a lot was done. So we're restarting now. And we have, okay, so right here you see we have VLC Media Player. We have Firefox. We have our advanced IP scanner. Our Brave uh, browser. And let's say we go here on settings. We can check here on privacy and security. If 
find my device, advertising ID. So you see a lot of this stuff is turned off and it's because we disabled it. Speech, you can see here. So a lot of stuff is gonna be disabled. You can see here your system is running smoothly. Um, we have the applications that we installed. It, it, it really makes the whole process of uh, installing applications, deep loading your computer, creating ISOs for Windows 11 much easier. It allows you to do everything in one place and not have to go run around and do things in different areas. So I use it a lot. I, I've used it at work and it has allowed me to spend less time in, in building machines and installing different things that I need to install everything from one spot. So definitely check it out. If you want to pay the 10 bucks, I recommend it. Chris Titus did an excellent job in building this uh, utility. A lot of people use it out there, IT professionals, uh, regular people. So don't be scared to use it. it, it it's pretty straightforward. And it, it says basic functions, advanced functions. If you don't like messing with the advanced functions, you don't have to. So use it and write down in the comments if it worked or if you like all the new applications that you have. All the applications are free and they're easy to use. So definitely, uh, I'm glad I showed you guys this uh, utility. And I hope I see you guys again. Local Tech Man out.